United States of America. During a segment this morning about Halloween costumes, Today Show anchor Megyn Kelly stirred controversy with her remarks about dressing up in blackface. What is racist? Because because truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface on Halloween or a black person who puts on white face for Halloween. Like, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. The conversation continued. There was a controversy on The Real Housewives of New York with Luann as she dresses Diana Ross and she made her skin look darker than it really is. And people said that that was racist. And I don't know, I felt like, who doesn't love Diana Ross? She wants to look like Diana Ross for one day. I, I don't know how like that got racist on Halloween. It's not like she's it, walking around. I, I have not seen it. But you it sounds you a have racist watched it. TV host Padma Lakshmi tweeting because caricaturing another race perpetuates the dehumanization of people of color. This isn't the first time Kelly has come under fire for comments about race. Santa Claus should not be a white man anymore. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa, you know? And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. Jesus it was a white man, too. Later today, Kelly apologized to her staff in this email for using the term blackface, a practice long associated with minstrel shows mocking African Americans. I realize now that such behavior is indeed wrong, and I am sorry. The history of blackface in our culture is abhorrent. The wounds too deep. I've never been a PC kind of person, but I understand that we do need to be more sensitive in this day and age. Morgan Radford, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.